Conference Championship on the legend side of this Ultimate League. And the GOAT, Problem Right, is going to have it first. Walker. And Delaney past the 40 to the 41. And that's where Problem will take over. For our new viewers at home, you got, you got to realize this isn't the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Those are just the uniforms that they're playing in. We've talked about all through the broadcast. They have assembled these teams with current NFL players and former legends. Right now they're doing their substitutions. They're setting up their audibles. What playbooks do we have in this one for both of these competitors? So right now, problem on offense is rocking that Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook, which he has been doing work with all season long. And true boy on defense, keeping it consistent, staying in that New England Patriots defensive playbook, which he's been running all season long. Of course, True Boy was the club champion for the Jaguars back in Madden 17. And, and Charger, the Chargers got a good one here in Problem. He was their club champion in Madden 18. Went all the way to the final, but lost to Goes and the Washington Redskins. So yeah, just a little backstory on why they might be wearing the current uniforms they're in. And the crazy thing for Problem is in this Martin area, he talks about not winning the big one, and he wants to show you know, the new generation of Madden players, that he's still the man. You got to understand that anyone else that, if they would have accomplished what he's even done in this MCS era, throw, throw his previous credentials behind, we would be crowning them. He's made four final games. There is Derrick Henry. He lost to Stiff back in Madden 16 in the Madden Championship Finals. You saw him lose to Dubby in the Madden Bowl Finals last year of Madden 17. We saw him lose to Skimbo in the Madden Championship Finals last year, and this year he lost to Ghost in the Club Championship Finals. Goat was getting ready to go on his horse. That's four final games in the MCS era. Nobody else besides Skimbo has even made two. So he's still a world-class player. He's as good as anybody. He's just not been able to get over that hump. And when you're a guy like Problem, expectations are so high, it's always championship or bust. And, and that's a lot of pressure for anybody to deal with, even if you are the greatest Madden player of all time. Throws Go, it down man. the Dodd field Rick. to Bo Jackson. Come on. And Problem will strike first. Put him up. Very, 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 very good. You know, the movement is going crazy when he references the movement. That's all his supporters on his Twitch stream that follow him on Twitter. Because you got to remember, Problem, this is a guy that he plays Madden full time, but it's not just playing Madden. He streams on Twitch. There's a little bit of YouTube. He's got the sponsor from Luminosity. And he is a, one of the few people who have been able to make a comfortable living off of doing the thing they love, which is playing John Madden football. And he opens up big early in this game against True. Look at the emotion. Very good player at salary cap. All those finals he made to, although he came up short, they were in the salary cap mode of Madden. So this is a guy that's very comfortable with this gameplay. Yeah, he's comfortable in any mode. I'll tell you what. Three years ago, I got a look at Problems Madden resume, and it was three to four pages long, and that was before any of this MCS stuff even started. This is a guy that has a Madden credentials resume that's probably five to six pages long with all the different tournaments and things he's been a part of. It's literally insane. I know we I, I beat people over the head with how good he is, but I've been watching it for the last 14 years, and it's just legendary stuff. You just can't help but relay the message. Second and ten. How will True respond? Gurley. Ooh, True! Steps over one, but can't get away from Anthony Barr. True, a good run game. Almost on his horse. And you see Problem not giving up on the play with his user Barr. Yeah, most guys will switch over, try to make a play, but comes back with his user and makes the tackle. This game might go by quick. You guys are both run-first type players. So expect that clock to be moving all throughout the game. Steve Young will find Shannon Sharp. 
down to the 38-yard line. And Drew has gotten a lot better as this season has gone on of mixing up the pass. Earlier in the season, he was just, you'd find him in passing situations, or you'd see his, his passing stats would come up and they, they would look horrendous, but over his last several games, he, he has been very accurate and he's made some pinpoint reads. See if that can continue. Swings it to the outside. Gurley. Picks up a yard. Already half the first quarter gone by. Problem with a 7 0 lead. Chris Harris Jr. on the stop. Unbelievable. True boy, 21 years old for Woodland, California. You got problem 29 years old from West Covina, California. A battle on the West Coast here. Mean Joe Green get off his block. Problem. He's been playing with a lot of motivation. He had his son earlier this year, baby EJ. Because everything he does is for him and his wife, Miss B. Mentioned we went out and had pizza with baby EJ. He didn't say much. Didn't eat much either. Uh, he had that look in his eyes, though, like he's going to be one heck of a Madden player. <laughs> There's too little. Right there by Drew. <laughs> he's, he's, he's too new to this world to start capping off, <laughs> eating, a, eating the big spluce. One thing I know about that young man is he's got some remarkable parents being a problem. We see. So, we, what do you think the first Madden? Yeah. So you, you got to be 16. Go. We're in 18. So right, that's Madden. Madden 2034. We might be talking about Problem Junior. I, I truly believe we'll still be around oh. during that time. <laughs> right? I want this sport going anywhere. I love the opportunities it opens up for these young men. Really gives people a chance to apply their passion to something productive. 39. Teams get behind these guys. The league get behind these guys. Of course, a tremendous community. 39 for True, trying to tie things up. Underneath the Shannon Sharp, that's been his target. That's going to bring up a situation, though. Fourth and one. It's a tough decision if you're true. You, you, usually, once you go up against problem, you want to take points when you can get them. But at fourth and one, already down seven, you really have to consider going for this, especially how good. You see the coach's suggestions there? Telling them to go for it. Fake field goal. Huh? Fake field goal from the coach's suggestions. Uh, uh, but, That's scummy. <laughs> That's why you ignore the coach. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've yeah. never clicked on it. I don't never. think these guys have ever went with the coaching suggestion in there. It's like seven up. Never have, never will. Fourth and one. He's passing. Whoa, Dodrick! And there's Paul Richardson. And it looks like True's going to tie this thing up with 40 seconds left in the quarter. Big time answer. Not a league of their own, but you can call him Dottie, is what I like to say after someone cooks up a hot one like that, Scott. And I know the youth out there has no idea what that reference is from. Only woman to beat me in the game of golf. Her name was Dottie. Dottie Peppers, though. Look at that read right in between the defenders on fourth and one, ice in its veins. Problem probably expected run. And True comes up big right there. Let's see what he can do on defense. And will Problem respond on offense? First and 10 at the 33. The GOAT goes back to work. And Henry almost got loose. Both of those players locked in. Look at the focus up there on this stage goal. Henry gets a block. Yeah, oh, that was Dixon! And Larry Wilson makes a touchdown saving tackle at the 32. Look at this again. I call this Dixon Gracie. Mm. Almost got away. You heard of Jiu Jitsu? That was Dixon. 
I'm starting to become like the Dick Vitale of Madden. I, I, I can't keep up with all the all the lingo. I love it. 7-7 seven, seven here at the end of the first quarter. Start of the second, 7-7. Seven, seven. Big time game. Who's going to move on to the Legend Conference Finals here in the Ultimate League? And face Drini. Will it be true or will it be problem? I'll tell you what, at the start of this season, no matter what happens in this game, Drew was talking about he didn't feel he was getting enough respect in the community. And he's that's he's a gotten my respect the ultimate league. here in the Ultimate League. You get all the respect he wants. I'm not saying I've turned a leaf on True, but you know, he there was concerns. He had some concerns about the young stuff. No concerns anymore. He's answered all those. Second and eight. In the flats, wide open. Spence, <laughs> again. And I'll tell you what, both of these guys, you want to hear something cool, both of these guys have coach items that are currently in Madden. And you know, that's got to be surreal for them. Your favorite game, you get to see yourself on the sideline. That just shows the, the type of credentials and work these two uh, have put in. You don't just put any, you just don't, don't put anybody in the game. No. You, you got to do some serious work on the sticks and both True Boy and Problem have done that. Put him in the spin cycle twice. Oh. Throws it high, Ooh. Paul Krause can't get his feet in bounds. Very lucky Problem threw that high. True was on him. We're in the red zone, so let's double box. You got offense on the right, defense on the left. And this lets you see the perspective from both players. There's a sack back at 17, and there's so many adjustments that happen pre-snap, but right now he's going to have to settle for a field goal. See if he can take a three-point lead. That's Vinatieri. Ask yourself, why is that moving so slow on the kick meter? It's because he has a focus kicker chemistry. That's how much problem believes in that Vinatieri that he can make you or break you in these big games. And that's part of the meta game of salary cap is do you want to spend a whole bunch of cap? Oh, Drew's getting busy here. Do you want to spend a whole bunch of cap on your kicker that's going to have that focus kicker ability and make it much easier for field goals? Or would you rather master the field goal uh, mechanic and then get a cheaper kicker and use that cap elsewhere. When you talk to Problem about that decision, he said, oh, True's on his Gurley. horse. Gurley. He's on his horse. 40. Gurley. 30, 20. He's Gurley early. is gone. Gone, Dude, Gurley. Run by True, and he continues to dominate on the ground. And and True, just like that. Kicker. Not to interrupt you, but just like that, True Boy takes the lead. That was huge. The only thing I was saying about why Problem goes to that focus kicker was he's kicked so many big field goals on the main stage with the lights and everybody watching. He knows that that could bring some extra pressure that people fall to, and he's smart enough not to deal with it. But he's got a whole other thing he needs to deal with right now. Because like you said, True Boy has taken the lead. He's up four. And look at the stick work by young True. And finally, Gurley able to have enough speed to take it to the crib. It's been caught from behind a lot during the season. The deficit is four, first and ten. And there's the heat. True. Melvin Ingram. Who flourishes here. He runs the ball well and plays good defense. All of that going well for him so far. Derrick Henry's got to pick up that block. Pocket. Landry again. Good stiff arm, little juke. It's going to bring up a third and seven. Good big play early on. True is so calm right now. Has the lead. He's got so much experience now. For, for a 21-year-old, this, this is your eighth ever live event in the last two years that you've made. I mean, that's tons and tons of experience. I mean, before the Ultimate League started, True had played 20 
MCS games in his career. With, it's a lot of games, it's a lot of meaningful John Madden football at live events. It's a $20,000 game. What would the 21-year-old version of RG would have did? What would you do with that? <laughs> in a $20,000 game? I'll tell you what, you'll leave it all out on the field. I remember before I went to my first Madden Challenge Finals, my mom kind of looked at me before I went out the door and got on the plane, and she said, I don't care what happens, just make sure you leave it all out there. When Mom RG tells you that, it's ready to run through a wall, Scott. That's right. And I made sure I left it all out there. Eventually lost that tournament in the final eight to our own EA admin, Justin Chow. And I'll give you one guess though, to who Justin Chow lost to in the finals of that tournament. It's the guy on the right side of your screen right there. Eric Problem Right. That was all the way back in 2007, and he's still doing it. First and 10. There's True. Slicing in, making it second and 13. Defense right there by True. How much, how much brisket can you buy with 20 grand? That's a lot. Even the high end stuff. My problem, he's got to be careful. Get down. They Ooh. almost got stripped. He is fortunate that Wentz hold, held on to that ball, and True knows it. But you look at True, something didn't go his way. He could have got the strip right there. It doesn't even phase him. And that's the new True boy we're talking about. You got to break the huddle and get this. And he throws a ball right to him. Oh my goodness, and that's why you gotta love the new true. Something doesn't go his way, he doesn't complain, he focuses, he locks in, and then forces a user lurk against the greatest Madden player of all time. That was a huge play, call. He threw it right to Flowers, controlled by True. Wow. How's Problem gonna respond on defense? That was big, Scott. Look at this. Cannot believe he threw that pass. Oh, man. I mean, it said the lurk, the focus, but he threw it right to him. Eli Clayton. Second and ten. Both these guys got to have their families back home watching. You know, True said his brother Ahmad and his mom Aaron. He tuning in closely. Problem, of course, got Miss B, his brother, the whole movement. Mama, problem. Can he double dip the chip here before half? Can he get a score and then get the ball back? This would be an interesting third and one here. And there was some movement up front. That on True a problem. That's going to be on problem, so that's going to give True a fresh set of downs. Oh, that hurts if you're prob. The Boo Birds are out. Yeah, that hurts. And on third and one, you know, one yard's not a gimme against problem. He had the ability to blow that up. True doesn't even give him the chance. A touchdown here. Might blow this thing open. Ooh, Gurley fighting. You don't want to give up any points here, obviously, if you're problem, but if True is able to keep advancing it, you got to hold him to three. You got to keep it one possession. Because he can milk that clock away in the second half with the best of him. And there is Gurley getting out of the backfield. That's a hot one. And this is what you got to do against a guy like Problem. He is too good. Lurk in that middle of the field yeah. with Anthony Barca. You need to find a way to attack those sidelines away from his user defender. And True cooks up a hot one right there. That was a perfect play call. Stretches it to Gurley, cuts it back. Got to hurry up. T clock's ticking. He only has one timeout. 25 seconds, ball at the 15, second and three. And that play, the, the Pat previous pass play up the sideline, when True says he has tricks up his sleeve, that's the type of play that you got to expect what he's talking about. Up the gut to Gurley. If you're true, you, you maybe just think about calling the timeout. A little bit of time left and taking the three. I mean, running a play here could be risky. Back to Gurley, up the gut. Maybe a good decision. Got to call a timeout. Gonna have to take a three. Well, you could have got a wacky animation there. You know, almost like a battle. That time could have clicked off. Yeah, exactly. That's why I thought it was risky. And I don't think Problem wanted to tackle him right away. He was well aware of that situation, tried to manipulate it. At the same time, Drew almost got into six. There was just a lot of high-level stuff going on. 
This will put him up seven over problem. It's fair to say one of his mentors. Up and it's through the uprights. Problems Miyagi to a, to a lot of these younger players. Oh, yeah. 17 to 10 here at the half in the divisional round of the Legend Conference. Start of the third quarter between True and Problem. The lead is seven for True. And this is only 10 minutes to decide who is going to face Drini in the Legend Conference Championship here in the Madden Ultimate League. As well as secure an additional $20,000 for the money they've already won in this Ultimate League. Problem won 120 grand last year. That's without winning a single tournament. He was just that consistent in getting there. True Boy's trying to end that run. Seven-point game. Stretch. Cuts it back. This, this is a, just a huge drive in this game, Scott. Huge drive. True could go down and turn this into points and make it two possessions. He, he's got to be feeling good. Good route combo. So out at the 46. You don't usually want you guys next to each other in traffic, but in this situation, it works out perfect. You throw the drag, the wheel rods in perfect position to lay that leaf block, and that's no coincidence. That's a calculated play right there by True, and I'm sure he's practiced many of times. Second and nine. Ball to 47. Opening drive of the second half. True got a field goal right before the end of the first half. Can he double dip the chip? Put some points together. This time he goes nowhere. So here comes a big third down. Third and 11 for True. Can problem finally get a stop? It's huge. This is a huge play coming up. Biggest play of the second half so far. All right, here we go. No, 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 no. Check Patrick. Patrick now, Marty, Marty. It's got him. Richardson, another clutch throw. He's eight of nine with Steve Young for 114 yards and a touchdown. And Oh, problem just steps to the left with his huge defender as soon as he leaves that seam route. Open. True just throws to that Y, y spot of the field for a big first down. Ball 34. Stretches outside. Cuts it back. And gets to the 32. If you're true right here. You just got to be willing to not turn the ball over here, kill as much clock as you can, and if, you, if need be, settle for three. You need to go up two possessions off of this drive. A turn over here, a getting sacked, put out of field goal range would be devastating. Even passing the ball here, I'm not a fan of it. I think this is a running down. Looking, looking. Has a man to the side. Oh, Tim. And usually with that animation, you don't get the feed and bounce. He does at the 14. Everything going True's way right now. How good is his passing attack right now, Cole? So prolific. Can you go up 14? When you're in a run-heavy formation like this, but you can pass the ball like True is, it just keeps your opponent on defense so off balance. Pitches it outside, has a lead blocker, cuts it back. Maybe so, picks up a yard. Just so hard for problems to keen on to what True wants to do. He's just mixing up his play calling so well. Not running the obvious normal meta that problems used to seeing. And when you're playing at this high a level, this is the type of game plan I truly believe you need to have. 
All that other stuff might work against the weekend warriors. Young. Scrambles out. He's a slide, Will. Down to the six yard line. This is, this is frustrating for problem. True is just not making any mistakes on the offensive side of the ball. And you see, he's already almost at the end of this third quarter here, killing the time. And this is a great offense for Drew. Really controls the game. Can problems stand tall here on a third and two? Wow. Not going to get there. All kind of motion and misdirection. Who's going to have to take his field goal here for sure? Yeah, he can't mess around. Got to make it a two possession game. Make sure you don't get your kick blocked. He's early. Bobby could have a chance to block this kick. He's already eaten up over four minutes of this third quarter. Problem hasn't touched the ball in the second half. The kick is up and it is good. <clears throat> Problem cannot allow True any more points the rest of the way. Time is becoming a factor. Delaney takes it at the 21, gets a block. Can't get away from the traffic. First and 10 at the 39. Look how much with Drew taking almost 430 off of the clock in a five minute quarter. He's almost got 300 yards of offense. He's put Problem in a position where Problem really needs to make something happen on this offensive drive. He needs seven. I know three will make it a one possession game, but you need seven. Yeah, the way Drew's been moving the ball. Henry gets the first down, still on his feet, across midfield to the 46. It's hurrying up. If you probably want to, probably try to get off another play here. Yep, there he goes. Hurries to the line. Got to make it a good play, though. Henry. Oh, there's a good one for you. Still on his there's feet. There's a good one for you, Cole. Almost down to the red zone. Knee down at the 23. Put your fours up. Headed to the fourth quarter. You got five minutes to decide what is going to be your future, are you going home or are you going to the legend conference championship? 20 to 10. So 20 to 10 here at the start of the fourth between true and problem. It's getting dramatic in here. Yeah, the prob's on the march right now. In true territory. Looking to make this a one possession game. Big opportunity for both of these players on this drive. Problem could get all kinds of momentum. If you could go down, get a touchdown or some sort of points. True could really put problems back against the wall if he's able to clutch up on defense here. Bottom line is, this is a big possession. First and 10 from the 23. In field goal range, could make it a one possession game, but a touchdown is what he needs. Stretches it outside, Henry to the edge. Almost was able to truck Amos. Secure tackler on the play. Second and four. Ball to 16 now in the red zone. Up the middle. Gets a block. Only gets a yard. Big third down here for Drew because if he can stop Prob and put him the fourth down, Prob really will have to consider kicking the field goal. Big down. Good defense by Drew. Line up your boys, kick it through, and try to get a stop. Problem's going to kick this field goal as quick as possible. Nothing open. Yeah, that was just good defense. And if you're probably you just got to hurry up because the time is not your friend right now. It's that perfect kick. That's the only thing that scares me about that focus kicker is if you were out of timeouts and you had a rush out there, you might not get the kickoff. Yeah, that's a good point. 
Very good point, Scott. We're a long way away from that scenario. 20 to 13, here comes True. <laughs> and he'll start right there. Take a look at the sack again. Nobody open. And nowhere for Wentz and problem to go. A big sack right there, because once Prob starts scrambling, he's got some of the best scramble stick in the nation. Oh, oh wow. Come in, True caught him with it. That's big. Ingram. Can Renfro catch him? He won't. True. Oh my goodness. True just gets the GOAT, the legend, and a mental pretzel problem. Sure that he's running the ball, run commits, which means the whole defense is going to sell out on the run. And True with the scum tactic on first down goes to the pass for a big play. That was huge. And that's knowing your opponent right there. Knowing that Prob could, has a good chance of run committing in that situation and taking advantage. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> big, I, that was huge. I'm in shock, Scott. I, I'm surprised that problem even went to the run commit. He's so good on defense, why not give himself a chance to lock up? Gets a little bit greedy, tries to blow it up and gives True the easy touchdown. And, in this type of game, you just can't do that. Throws it to the outside, Delaney. Picks up the first down, gets out of bounds at the 42, and part of that is just not being able to stop True Boy. Really hasn't been able to stop him. So surprised that problem did that. That was very uncharacteristic. He's such a good defensive player. Why, why even risk giving him the home run like that. You gotta make a move. You gotta give your chance, yourself a chance to make a play. But the game's not over yet. Second and ten. Anytime you still got all your timeouts and you got problem at the sticks. I'm not gonna count them out as Henry couldn't get the motor going again. It's gonna be third and inches. Oh, getting on his horse, rocking his Luminosity hoodie with the hat, trapping his East Ford or Takes up the first down. Boy, Henry has run really tough for problem in this one, 109 yards. What that true touchdown does to problem here is field goal no longer any good, Scott. He's in four down territory right here in this possession. Vinatieri's got to be on the bench, and there is Von Miller with his second sack of the game. Good move, good roster move for True to put in that Vaughn Miller and give his team a little boost to stop the run. And as you see right there, get to the quarterback as well. Oh no, third and long. Third and 15. Running out of time. Not only in this game, but in some ways his mad career. On the top battle. That was hot. All the way to the eight. And right when you thought the goal might be down and out, he brings himself back to life. Needs to score quick here, though, Cole. Hands it off to Henry. Goes nowhere. And there was the run commit by Drew, but run commits at a time where problems running, and you see him blow up that run in the backfield. That's what Problem was looking for when he was on defense, but True caught him off guard with that bomb. Second and goal. Great user. Wanted to squeeze it in on that little crossing route. I have to take it to the two-minute warning here. Big play, third and goal. Two down territory, obviously. Yeah, remember that. So if you're problem, you don't need to get it all on this play. Unless you, you can it get over. it down to the one or two. This, this, this is not a bad place to pass the ball in from. Get a bit oh. more room. Drops back. Got Looks. him. Quick throw to Henry. He's in. And he's in. <clears throat> Touchdown problem. Here we go. It's going to come down to True Boy and his offense. 
He's going to go up against the greatest defensive player, greatest Madden player of all time. Highly motivated on defense. Under two minutes in the fourth quarter, Rob has all three of his timeouts. And this is what ultimate league playoff football is all about. And Drew! Takes it out to the 32. This is, this is intense, Scott. Relatively new territory for True. Problem spent here a thousand times. Oh, this is baptism on the fire. Has all three timeouts, first and ten. Quick throw. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. <laughs> you got to be careful, True. I think he, he didn't mean to hike that. I think he made oh. the wrong audible. Meant the audible, accidentally snapped and threw. That could have been tragic for True. I think he was trying to change the stretch into the dive. And then you oh, find yourself stop. in this yeah, situation against Problem, you know those palms are sweating. Third and seven. Oh my Twenty thousand dollars on the line. One forty-four to go. You have a money seven-yard play, True. If there was ever a time to bust it out. 50-50. This is it. Is it going to be true? Or is it going to be false? This is pretty much the game. There's some motion. Bo Jackson. Problem trying to keep himself alive if he can get a stop. Can the GOAT stand tall? Young! Let's go! Oh, oh huge defense! Clock stopped. Fourth and seven now. What are you going to do? What's true? This is a tough decision for, for yourself if you're true, boy. He needs a touchdown. You got to punt it. Of course, the first down would end the game. With three timeouts, Drew's going to just try to put him away. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Buckle up. Here we go. This is the play. This is the game. Fourth and seven. Whole season, all the virtual will win. Young. Comes down to this. Oh, and he my gets God. it. Blow throw to Richardson. Oh, my goodness. First down. And that means that clock is going to start tick, tick, ticking away. Oh, my gosh. You want to talk about ice in your veins? Let's talk about Eli Clayton, a.k.a. True Boy from Woodland Hills, California. With fourth and seven going up against Problem, the legend. And you cook up a hot one like that, Scott, that's how you propel your game to another level, get yourself an additional 20 racks. And you didn't want, if you want to put in respect on True's name before, you better start to pay attention. These are the things that change boys to men. And he's going to be down on bending knee for the dub. Wow. No problem. And anybody that, if, if you're out there, you're going to give problem any flack for losing a game like this and making such an impressive run like he did all year long. I don't want to do business with you. Don't, don't contact me. Don't follow me on Twitter. I don't want to deal with you. What this man's been able to do for over 14 years is legendary. But we got some young and up, we got some young, hungry up and comers who are really making a name for themselves. And you gotta be happy for them. Look at this. Show of respect right there from the legend. True is gonna get a victory. The biggest in his Madden career. He's gonna face Drini in the Legend Conference Championship. He's finally done it. 27 to 20. Problem goes down. Brother Ramad, Mama Aaron, you better be going nuts at home for true. 27 20. Fought to the very end, and true is moving on. Let's go down to Adrian Lawrence with both of our competitors. Thanks, I am here with True and Problem. True, you got the win, you're moving on, you are still poised, and you have it all together. How do you feel? Uh, I feel great, I mean, I like the monkeys off my back, I finally, you know, show people what I can do. And uh, just still, I got more games to play. I got a lot to prove still.
Yeah, and that move last in the fourth and seven. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, <laughs> I honestly don't know. I mean, I I honestly I was gonna hit the low ball to the left, but I saw him uh, use a peel off to the middle, and I just hit it right in the crease, and it just worked out. It definitely gave you the win. And problem, you struck first. Things seemed to be going your way, and then they turned. What happened? Uh, I made one bad read on offense, threw a pick, and I couldn't fight back from it. I had the chance at the end with the fourth down and just little mistakes. He caught me on a play, uh, run commit one time earlier in the fourth and just wasn't able to get the job done on defense in that game. And that's how it goes. You know, we we matched up three times in this tournament, and sometimes you can stop him, sometimes you can't. He, he wasn't able to get stopped that game. And, you know, this has been a really good run for you, though, in terms of the Ultimate League. How would you assess your performance? Uh, it was okay. You know, I want to win. You know, I don't want to just be the number one seed and then lose. You know, I don't, no one likes that. So, you know, I'll see them next year in the Ultimate League, and hopefully I do better. Wishing you the best on that. Thank you. All right. And you're moving on to the conference final. What do you expect? Uh, expect a lot of, you know, great games and uh, just got to keep playing at this level. I know I turned it up a notch at the end of this uh, league. I played, started off kind of slow, but uh, I feel like I hit my stride, like Rico said. So, yeah. It will be a young top Madden crew in the Legend Conference final. To you, Rico and Dave.